This is how you get the Shadow Fury in vanilla Minecraft. If you saw my last video, you're probably a bit confused to say the least. I am almost sorry for posting that. Though even though it was kind of funny to have a whole video of me making beeping sounds, I thought that, well, I should redo that video so you guys can actually get to know what the Shadow Fury does and how you get it and all of that. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first I'm gonna explain how you get the Shadow Fury and then I'm gonna explain a little bit of what the Shadow Fury does and how you use it. Okay, so as you probably can see right here, everything you have to do to get the Shadow Fury is click the link in the description which is labeled commands for the shadow fury and then you should get into google drive when you're in the google drive text documents copy the whole command and take that into a minecraft command block and the way you do that is just go into minecraft go into a world where you have access to both creative mode and cheats and then you type the command slash give then do your own player name or at p then type command underscore block just like this and then you should get this orange block right here and i've already done it here as you probably can see but all you have to do is place it down place a button on it and copy the text into here so if you've done every single thing of that correctly when you copy the text in you should should see a lot of yellow text and then a green number at the end so yeah all you have to do now is press the button oh i forgot to tap done you have to tap done very important press the button and then you should see the fabled shadow fury pop up right in your inventory but be aware because the ability doesn't actually work and i'm gonna explain why right now okay so the abilities of this sword is actually a bit different because i could make the actual like uh, ability but i didn't do you wonder why it's actually just because it takes a really really long time for me because i'm not like an expert on commands i just know a little bit so yeah the reason i didn't do this is because it takes too long so yeah we're gonna have to do with the more boring custom abilities but that's not all bad so just let me show you how this bad boy works okay so the first ability is very 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 simple and you can probably already guess what it is from seeing these two swords at the bottom uh well Here's a turtle, and if I hit the turtle with this magic diamond sword, it's not actually magic, it's gonna take me 5 hits to kill the turtle. Well, if I take another turtle, okay, yeah, if I spawn another turtle, you can see that with the Shadow Fury, it is just 3 hits needed to defeat this turtle. Yeah, well, it's not very OP, but it's a pretty notable damage boost. So yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's almost double damage of the normal diamond sword. And you could probably also see the flames, hinting for an extra ability. Oh, oh, hey, hey, do you want chicken nuggets? I want chicken nuggets. Hey, do you, yeah. Oh, uh, I want chicken nuggets too, but when I kill, when I kill the chicken, it's just raw chicken, it's not a chicken nugget. Oh, but bro, bro, I got the Shadow Fury, man, it's, it's become chicken nugget when I kill it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Chicken nugget. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with the voice changer. Anyway, as you probably understood, um, it makes fried chicken, and the way it does that is by fire aspect, so... Whenever there is any mob at all, the mob is going to burn a lot. So let's get that polar bear. And you can see that it's going to burn for a long, long time. Because this is no normal fire aspect. This is an insanely, insanely long lasting fire aspect. And it's quite painful, as you probably can see from Mr. Polar Bear hair running around. Oh. He died.
Yeah, I don't actually think that there's too many mobs I could show this on to show just how long it lasts, but on probably most mobs, they are going to just burn up before they can, like, comprehend what just happened. Because this is Fire Aspect 10, and it lasts a very, very painfully long time. It's almost torture, actually. Just look at this. Poor horse. So yeah, that Fire Aspect ability, it's very, very, very good. I actually think you're gonna love that. But there is one more ability and it's most epic. So I'm gonna go into another world now and I'm gonna show you. Third ability, go! Okay, so here is a polar bear. And what does polar bears do when they are attacked? Well, they attack you. And what does the Shadow Fury do when someone attacks you? Well, they attack back. They actually, that doesn't sound right. Well, the Shadow Fury does quite a bit of damage on the polar bear, which is quite nice to say the least. But it is going to not work too well, so you probably have to do some PvP too, because the thorns on this is not very very high it's just a little amount but honestly the most practical way to kill things is still just to do this like nothing gets more efficient than that but well i think that was actually it for today's video so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy the shadow fury as i did and i'm sorry for last week's video i will try to not make the thing beep again I can't promise anything though, I'll be a little bit more careful with that. Well, until next time, have a great time and hopefully see you next week. Bye!